Hi, this is Jeff with RackAid, where we manage servers so you don't have to. And, but in case you're still managing your own server uh, and you're using Plesk and you want to get more out of your spam filtering capabilities, I have a quick little tip for you. So log into your Plesk and scroll down here under Server Management, Tools and Settings. And then we're going to scroll down here and what we're going to look for are a couple areas in the mail server settings. The first thing we're going to do is check the spam filter settings and make sure that they're enabled. So there are three settings in here that we really need to pay attention to. The first is the spam assessment spam filtering. We'll make sure that's checked on. The second is grade listing. Grade listing is a little bit controversial. Uh, you may want to check out grade listing online, but basically grade listing will initially block an email before it will allow it to come through. If you're having some email delivery issues, you may want to leave grade listing off. The third one here allows people to individually adjust their spam scores depending on your users. You may or may not want to allow that. And then lastly down here, this controls what, how your email will be tagged if it's found as spam and the scores. And in general, I don't recommend that you uh, modify these. So make sure that these items, uh, at least the first one is checked, optionally the next two, and then click OK. And now at least your spam assassin is uh, set up. Now to enable spam assassin, you're ready to go now. But in order to enable more filtering, what we might want to do is check out mail server settings. And the mail server settings is where we can actually switch on some DNS blacklist protection. Uh, you'll see in here some SPF. I'll cover that another time. But today I want to focus on the spam list. So if you click on here, switch on spam protection, what you can do is you can use popular spam lists like Spam House and some others to block email. And you just put your favorite list in here, separated by a comma. And here I have Spam House, Spam Cop, uh, Barracuda, and cblbuseek.org. And so if anybody's trying to send email and they happen to be one on, one on one of those lists, they will get blocked. Now, in general, I don't recommend using more than two or three lists at a time. And if you actually check out our blog, I have a little quick tip on there about how to find the best blacklist for your situation. That's it. I hope that you found this useful. And if you ever need help with your server, check out RackAid.com.